Hello everyone, Trayvon here from the What Button is Taunt podcast. Going to show you a few little tips today for Dark Souls. Uh, cannot stop playing this game, but that's a whole nother subject. Uh, so right here I'm on this bridge. A lot of people seem to have trouble with this because, uh, well, if you haven't been here before, there's a giant dragon. And as you can see, I don't have much armor at all. So uh, before we get started working on this dragon, uh, you do want to come over here. There is a knight, Knight Solaire to be exact. He will give you a lovely little item for multiplayer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Skip through, skip through, skip through. Whatever. I don't really need it. All right. So this dragon's pretty important because not only can you cut off his tail to get the Drake Sword, one of the better weapons uh, early on in the game, but you can, if you can make your way past him, there's a little bonfire, and uh, it's a great little shortcut. Uh, all right. So for the few of you who have ran across this bridge before, you know a dragon swoops down pretty much covers this entire bridge with fire and it is not pleasant. So to avoid him you should be able to sprint if you keep directly to the right. You can sprint with your shield up as well, not a lot of people know that. Alright so we'll give this a shot here. Just keeping to the right, ignoring these guys for now, you should hear a dragon coming in and immediately take a right and roll down the stairs. And as you see if you time it perfectly you do not take damage and you get the added souls from the uh, enemies up top there. Alright, so that's just getting past him, not too difficult. Uh, you do want to kick this ladder down, and once you slide down it, you'll find yourself. Yay, back at the bonfire, hurrah! Alright, you know what, I can't stand his bony bony back anymore. Let's just, uh, let's just turn human real quick. Alright, now there's just a half-naked man, that's much better. Alright, so... Uh, next up, if you want to get the dragon's tail, which is a really, really good weapon, uh, you'll need a bow first. And to get a bow, you can make your way down here. And this shopkeep right here will sell you a bow, an arrow, all you need. I really hope I don't get snuck up on while I'm buying stuff. Uh, it will take plenty of arrows if you are uh, pretty low, uh, low level as I am, as you can tell by me being naked. Uh, let's get some standard arrows. Yeah, why not? I'll buy 404. Thank you, Kai. Alright, so, next up, we're gonna head over here, make sure we have our bow equipped. Oh man, my dexterity isn't high enough, is it? Yeah, you will need a certain amount of dexterity. You can always check in here. 12 being, I need one, one level. All right, I'm going to fast forward real quick. I'm going to level once. All righty, right back into this. And now that I've got my decks leveled up. So first off, you might want to clear this bridge. There are some enemies nearby that might get in the way with this because this will take a little while. Anywho, once you clear the bridge, you want to stand right about here. And this probably will take a while, but it is totally worth the effort. Shoot the dragon in the tail with the arrow. You can sometimes get one right there as well. But if you can't, he'll just run back. And keep repeating for a while. There we go. Alright, it does take a while. As you see, started with about 404 arrows down to 367. So, yeah, takes a little bit. All right, but uh, Drake Sword is rather helpful, especially early on in the game. Uh, you can't really upgrade it much. Well, you can upgrade it, but it doesn't actually scale with any of your stats, so it's not super great uh, later in the game, but uh, you just need a 16 strength and 10 dexterity to wield it, and it is extremely helpful early on. All right, next up, I'm going to show you how to get actually past this dragon. Um, if you step on this part of the bridge, that's when the dragon breathes fire, as you see. Which means, once he is safely back up on his perch, which he is, if you stand right here, he will not attack you at all. all right? It's only when you pass that little line right there, where that little curb is. So, underneath him is a bonfire and a shortcut, which is very helpful. So my strategy is actually to shoot this dragon, wait for him to hop down on the bridge, and then run through his legs. But you need to be kind of quick with it, or he will kill you. Oh my god, apparently he jumps down anyway. Hey, you learned something new. All right. So yeah, just wait for him to backtrack on top of the bridge. Alrighty, I did die. 
Apparently it's not as easy as I remember. We'll give it another shot. Luckily the bonfire is right here. Alright, to clear the enemies off the bridge, just step on there, roll back down. And the bridge is cleared. Alright, let's try this again. Arrow. Running past him. And there we have it. So here's this lovely bonfire right here. Uh, always remember to sit down at them. I've done that a few times, especially early on in the game where I lit it but I didn't actually sit on it. Uh, over here you have a lever that will open up a shortcut to uh, the next area of the game. You have a boar over here, all that sort of stuff. So that's a great little shortcut. Also, uh, if you have the requirements, if you have 25 faith, you can uh, join a covenant over here as well for a, an achievement as well. All right, I think that about does it. So I hope, hope these little tips have helped. Uh, yeah, stay tuned. Make sure to check out the What Button Is, uh, what button is Taunt podcast. Uh, head over to the Facebook page, like us. You can get all the information on the podcast over there, facebook.com slash whatbuttonistaunt. Have a good one.